CMD Build Ready to Use provides its users three pre-configured connectors to external systems ready to use. The first connector points toward Active Directory and it can be used to populate the classes, especially the classes of employees and of the organizational units. When it comes to this kind of data, the maximum efficiency is obtained by letting CMD build, import, and synchronize the classes, gathering the data from the personnel management system instead of acting as a master, considering it has been built to manage IT infrastructures. The Active Directory Connective program looks like this. The employee's data are constantly updated on the Active Directory server, and then they are displayed through the LDAP protocol. The CMD build connector is capable of connecting to LDAP and recovering all the relevant data, mapping all the data found on Active Directory with the employee's classes, of the CMD build units of organization. Then it can perform the update, consisting of inserts, updates, and logic dele deletions, and the frequency of these actions can be freely scheduled. These connectors are usually scheduled to run every night. It is also very important that you get to know everything that the connector modified during its execution. Connectors implemented in CMD Build Ready to Use provide not only the update of data on CMD Build, but also a report including a small recap of all changes made during the session, which is sent by email to the change manager. Concerning the data synchronized through these connectors, this is one of the examples of mapping implemented in the connector and which is provided alongside with CMD build ready to use and therefore we have a registry importation of all employees. Using the Active Directory user ID and the so called code of CMD build as keys. Finally, this is an example of a report generated by the connector, grouping employees based on the ones you created, edited, or deleted. Here, it summarizes the main data. In this particular case, it shows the record created on CMD build. And it presents a link you can click to access directly that employee's file. It is important to point out that all deletions, as the ones we see below, as a list of the deleted employees are not physically deleted from the employee class in CMD build. They are just assigned an inactive status. If we get back to the class employee in CMD build, we can see that each and every employee has been assigned a status attribute and therefore you will be able to easily carry out a good number of researches or save some views visualizing only the active employees. But at the same time, you will still have a chance to consult all data of the people who aren't actually inside the personnel registry. The second connector implemented in CMD Build Ready to Use is the OCS Inventory Connector. OCS Inventory provides all data related to computers present in your company and the software installed on each of them. 
In this case, the CMD build connector reads directly from OCS Inventory's database and synchronizes the info present in CMD build. Also in this case, a report with the list of edited items is generated and this report is sent to the change manager. Also in this case, the advised frequency is a daily report. This is an example of how you can map the data between OCS inventory and CMD build. As you can see, some of the classes synchronized through this connector are those of desktop computers with their net interfaces and installed software. Moving to the CMD build interface, the classes I could automatically populate using OCS connector so that I can save a lot of time and work without having to update them manually are the computer superclass, the desktop computers, laptops, and the software class. In addition, since OCS inventory provides a huge amount of data, especially related to software, where we mostly need only a subclass, we can define, through the software catalog class, a sort of whitelist for these softwares we need to import from the connector. Defining and valuing this identifying pattern attribute we can import only the software in the catalog and whose name respects the terms of the pattern chosen. The third connector is pointed towards VMware vCenter, a standard system for the management of virtual machines. In this case, the data are read by the connector, not through LDAP protocol or a database, but using a web service provided by VMware. Therefore, the connector of CMD build sends a query to the vCenter web service, recovers the necessary info, re-elaborates them, and provides the usual mapping and synchronization on CMD build data. A report is then generated and sent to the change manager as in all previous connectors. An example of a portion of a small subset of data that can be imported by vCenter is one on this screen. The class examined in this case is the class which is the main target of this connector, the virtual servers class, and, in general, the ones identified through the host name. The attributes that can be imported are many. For example, info about RAM, CPU, operating system, but also about storage units, net interfaces, execution clusters of the virtual machines. Therefore, in this case too, we can have automatically populated and updated classes, this time filled by virtual servers with their net interfaces clusters and their addresses, and all the execution clusters of the virtual machines.